Hi everybody, Andrew Cuneo here. Today I'm going to dive into leg two of the Arena Decathlon. This is the Pauper leg, which there was some confusion on their website that seemed to indicate that it was historic Pauper, but it, it appears to actually be Alchemy Pauper. Anyway, I built a deck where I'm gonna try to just win by devious cover upping all of my spe opponent's spells and looping through my deck. So my deck is primarily removal and card drawing. I do have one repository scab that I could potentially kill someone with. I also have four copies of Falafel Archaeologist. Uh, I'm not really sure why you'd want to dig up a Falafel, but this card is in my deck because my deck's mostly instants and sorceries. Also, it allows me to kind of mill through my deck, so it, as the game goes on, the, the, uh, the kind of the percentage magnitude of casting Devious Cover-Up gets stronger the smaller your deck is. So that's the logic there. These are also my only creatures to exploit to the repository scab. I've got not that much removal, but I do have some. Strangles, overwhelming response, and one debt to the Kami. I think that there's going to be a lot of people playing the 5-5 the five, five ward... What, Talarian Horror? Something like that? Creature? I don't know. I've never played this format before. This is going to be my maiden voyage with the deck. I also have two copies of End the Festivities because I wanted something that was a sweeper in case I played against someone who had... Uh, you could have like a lot of Cantrip 1 Truffness creatures in your deck potentially, which would be very hard for my deck to beat. Um, I do have four Essence Scatters. It seems like the only way you can win in this format is by casting creatures, so... I wanted to have four Essence cap Scatters. I guess my deck doesn't really win by casting creatures, but I'm not expecting many people to try to do what I'm going to try to do here. Uh, so yeah, this is the deck. My card drawing is four Phyrexian Espionages and four Scattered Thoughts. Scattered Thoughts seems like a really powerful card relative to the power level of the rest of the format. Uh, obviously, in Pauper, your lands aren't going to be great. I've got four of this fancy Revolving Wilds from Streets of New Capenna and some comes into play tapped gain life lands i don't have i could have more but i didn't want to have a million comes into play tapped lands when i'm playing with a four mana counter anyway let's uh, jump into the event and see if i can win all right i'll keep my hand so generally i'm not all that excited about these uh kind of oddball arena formats or the arena decathlon but the thing that this has going on is that the finals are duplicate sealed, which I, I want to get to play duplicate sealed. So I'm going to play enough of these to qualify. I've already gotten my uh, decathlon entry from playing Jump In. I didn't make a video of that. That format is like the most boring format imaginable, I would say. Ooh, it's festival pressure. Overwhelming response certainly is not great in my deck because it's going to cost five mana, but I wanted something that was single black that could just kill any creature. So that was the idea. What's this do? Oh, it's just like another version of that. We'll say no to that one. It's a bit like a blue red prowess deck, it would appear. I'm going to continue to leave my counters up rather than cast Phyrexian Espionage. Reckless Impulse. Yeah, I'll counter it. So far I've gained three life from my lands. Actually, four life. Every land I've played gained me a life. This seems like a pretty good deck that my opponent is together. Given the card pool that's available to us, I'll definitely strangle this. I'm tired of getting hit by the Crasher. This isn't my deck just really to make it possible to, you know, end the game in a non 
incredibly painful amount of time. It probably would make more sense to play with Talarian Horror, but I thought that would be kind of boring, so I didn't do it. Alright, this is not a good matchup for End the Festivities. I'm guessing. Could be wrong. <laughs> Talarian Terror is the name, not the Talarian Horror. Oh, I should have put that in response. I forgot I have Essence Scatters in my deck. A Falafel Archaeologist. I think I need to land, because this thing is, is painful for my deck to kill. Could they have Spell Pierce? They could have Shore Up, maybe? I think that might be a common. Spell Pierce is definitely a common. I don't know if it's a common in any of the sets we're playing with, though. I think I'm going to let this thing hit me. Just leave mana up for cover up. Take some action. I don't have another one. This is a lot of damage. Need to draw some of those maestros, slightly improved uh, evolving wilds. I don't think I want to let this thing hit me again, so I'm just going to overwhelming response it and uh, we'll hope that we don't resolve anything that would be really bad for me. They had shore up. Not ideal. So how do I get out of this pickle? I don't. I die. Okay, the Talarian Terror was was terrifying. You have fun that match. I did not. They draw. I think they only drew two Talarian Terrors. This is what I needed against the Talarian Terror Shore Up deck. I might be playing against the same deck again. Uh, should we get an island this turn? I was going to get a swamp, but I just drew a swamp. I'll just play the Swiftwater Cliffs. Hold off on my decision for a turn. It probably doesn't matter. I think that my colored mana situation is fine now. This is like the same deck. I had no idea there were so many different cards that were basically all the same thing. Oh, I should have played a Swamp. That was just straight up bad. I was thinking I would cast Death to the Kami. Like, certainly if... I'm not going to play a Swamp, I should play Dismal Backwater. This has been a painful turn.
could go for some strafes. I think I need to let them just hit me with all this stuff and play one of my scattered thoughts. It's really not that much damage. And it is possible that they're going to play something I want a devious cover up. Certainly can't afford to fall more behind on the board. Please exile the amplifier. I don't think they're going to comply. Made a healthy one life. Strafe or strangle, strangle is the name of the card I want. I don't think end the festivities does anything against the Vex, so I'm not gonna take that one. Now I just need to fade them ever drawing another lightning striker shock. I can gain some life from my lands, but it's gonna be slow going. I also can't beat them. I need the falafel archaeologist now. Some good falafels, please. Status of being dead to anything remains constant. Need another falafel archaeologist. Okay, we're kind of getting somewhere. If I can fade one more turn. Gaining only one life doesn't really do anything for me. I need to gain more life than one. I'm gonna die if they have shock or lightning strike. Now I can actually afford to play around that. Might be coming all the way back.
Presumably, just don't do anything. How many devious cover ups do I have left on my deck? May have to devious cover up our own spell to not die. Which would be sad. cover-ups do I have in my deck? I thought I had three. Devious cover-up. Where's his reboof? And where's the repository scab? There we go. We are doing it. Take that action. Don't attack. No attacks with the Falafel Archaeologist. I'm noticing a problem with my deck. It's going to be really hard to win against people that don't cast spells at this point in the game. I don't think I want to play this Phyrexian Espionage because I think it means, like, I think I need that. <laughs> I need to counter my own Phyrexian Espionage. Maybe I, I need, like, a second repository scab in my deck, it seems like. Scanner. Certainly no more falafel archaeologists. Those things are dangerous. on a six turn clock and my deck has seven cards left in it and no longer I'm going to be forced into spots where I have to counter my own spells it's pretty fortunate couldn't they have kicked this? no it could toss it cost too much please try to lightning strike me so I can reboof it 
sewer up. Rising draw though. If I was paying attention, I would know all the cards in my deck right now. I know all the cards in my hand. It's two devious cover-ups. Oh no, they gained a life. So I change the clock. Ooh. That means I no longer have to counter lightning strikes. I would still, well, I would counter lightning strike on repository scout, but it's hard for them to find a way to kill me now that I'm at four life, I would think. Five life. Down to double shock range. I think they've already played. At least two shocks. Three cards left, so... They're gonna die before I get decked. It's unbelievable that I managed to get overwhelming remorse down to casting a single black in my deck. Any of these? I don't think I want anything else. This has been a battle. I don't feel very confident that my deck is going to get to seven wins, but this has been a good game. It all will have been worth it, just for this one game. You're gonna get to play against a different deck? Yes. It's a white deck, a lunch veteran themed deck. Nice. I bet in the festivities is gonna be good against their deck. The lunch veteran's kind of annoying. I potentially have to kill it twice. I think I might want to forego a spell on this, even given the option. One. Yeah. I'll take a 1 4 blocker. I'm not too proud. It's like the unnerfed version of this card, which is pretty weird.
I can use the repository scab to just buy back, deal one damage to everything. I might choose to do that. Just gonna pass and leave up scattered thoughts. Take some damage. Next turn, I'm gonna get the use the repository scab to get back into hostilities. The hippogriff is really going to get beating. And a launch veteran. The launch veteran, that, that's no good. Right now. Ooh. Some falafel, please. Finally, a strangle. Strangle, please. No. Getting stuff, some stuff back though. Good, they didn't have another spell that turn. It's big for me. It's really big. I think I actually messed up casting the Falafel Archaeologist this turn. I think I should have just held it and played Overwhelming. So I could have accessed the overwhelming response plus devious cover up. I'm in pretty good shape now. The only problem being Death of the Kami remains basically useless.
Can I make myself attack something? No. Only opponents. I couldn't exile one of my own falafel archaeologists even if I wanted to. <laughs> this attack doesn't seem like it's very likely to produce anything. What's the plan? Oh, they're killing their own guy so they can play it as a flyer. Alright. That'll play. Now that now that to the Kami does something. I chose that for them to exile an enchantment. Whoops. Alright, we're down one spell that we didn't need to be down. Not ideal. Get back. Espionage, cover up. What else is down here? This overwhelming response. Do I have another espionage? I don't think I want the scattered thoughts at this point. Maybe I want to consider. Consider to find it off. Need to find my repository scab. I guess I should always be putting considers back in my deck. Because at worst, later on in the game, if I'm in a spot where I need to have a card to devious cover up to not deck, I can just cover up my own consider. It's not like, like drawing a consider doesn't cost me anything at this point, because I'm always going to have enough mana to just play it freely. Maybe I should have played with some impulses so I could find my repository scab at this point. Or maybe I should just have more than one card like Re repository scab so I'm less dependent on uh, where it is in my deck. Certainly, if you want to play a strategy like this, there's a better way to try to win the game. I thought this would be a fun way to do it. Destruction. Oh, I can burn them out within in the festivities. One creature, one damage to each opponent and each creature they control. Pretty nice. A little bit of burn. I've decided to just stop doing anything to see if I can win the game. Which, in all honesty, it's not clear that I can. I mean, I, well, I, I can win the same way I won last match, where I'm going to have to start countering my own spells, but... 
They may not realize that I can do that, which is fine. I have one falafel archaeologist that's been uh, humiliated. I could shuffle that back into my deck and it would no longer be something that would kill me. Uh, we want... I'll take that action. Oh, this is an unnerved steadfast unicorn. It's so weird what is legal in this. The fact that... Like, they had two cards that were nerfed in Baldur's Gate Draft, and they're just getting to play with the fully powered versions. Repository scab back in my deck, didn't I? We just needed to show up. I've done it. I've drawn the repository scab. Now our, our deck is really going to kick into high gear. choices there. It might not be the exact correct thing to choose, but I don't think it's going to matter. Definitely don't want to resolve Scattered Thoughts. That'll be a good one to counter my own spell on. Just discard the hand size this turn, though. bit of burn. Cutting one turn off the clock. Bang. Pick one. I was hoping to draw another devious cover up before I had to start shooting my own things. Or countering my own spells. Actually, they die before I, I deck now. All right, I get two more attack steps this way. They built up quite a hand of cards, though. We might actually be able to resolve some stuff. The Falafel Archaeologist is going to be a good one to discard. I'm going to go man overboard with that one. Steadfast Unicorn. You got it. Probably have a bunch of blessed hippogriffs in their hand would be my guess. Or that would be the scary thing. I guess they could have that fierce retribution card. They could have nothing and just lose. 
What's your name? New deck. I haven't played against white black yet. Will there be another deck that cannot handle the falafel archaeologist? That's the question. See if we can dig up some falafels. Petrified falafel, please. Take an essence scatter. Not the best card in the world for your opponent to know about. a decent life total. So, they have all swamps and they played all white cards. They're throwing the falafel archaeologist out a window. Nice. Like it. and espionages, knocking their last few cards out of their hand. You know, this life gain on my land is pretty nice, because people's decks do not hit very hard in this format is what I'm learning. This thing is... It's a bit of a problematic card. They can just take cards from my graveyard. What if they take... A repository scab? This one I would have liked to have been able to counter. Need to find them in the festivities. We gotta get this party stopped. Is the 
Turn in the festivities. They're both still in my deck. Yeah, they are. I'm not going to kick this because if I draw the Falafel Archaeologist, I could play it. it gives me redraws in the festivities. Does that keep me alive? I guess it doesn't matter. I can't cast it. I go to three. I'm not actually dead. If they throw another archaeologist out the window, I am dead. I died to skulls and archer, nice. Bang. Where were you last game? Probably a slightly more effective blocker there if I don't take the card, but I don't really care if it winds up chumping a turn and dying. I'll take the card. This is a mono red version, and they just. They're playing this guy without blue mana. Surely you should attack your opponent. I need to find some strangles. You can cover up some red graveyard right now. Just one. I think I'll still actually still take that one. I think I'm gonna want one pretty soon, anyway. Falafel Archaeologist is an excellent blocker for the Dwarven Forge Chanter. Much less so the Festival Crasher and the Amplifier. I'd be wondering why I didn't cast that second consider. I'm wondering the same thing myself. I think at this point. Uh, I will get the six mana so I can play Essence Scatter and Devious Cover Up in the same turn if necessary. 
now I can afford to crack this theater. Regain some of the life that my opponents have savagely beat out of me early on in the game. They knew I had one Essence Scatter. I doubt they would guess that I had three. Can't afford to cast Cover Up because I spent five mana, but I, can't, I do have access to Essence Scatter this way. Yeah, cast it. Need to find this Repository Scab. Need another falafel archaeologist. Yeah, sure. My repository scab, I'm gonna miss you. Okay, the life. Well, I'm not going to allow that. I'm not going to allow anything. I would have countered anything that they cast there. So, I definitely want Repository Scab. Definitely want Cover Up. I will just Tick Espionages. Each opponent, I, I don't have three of these in my deck, so I can't can't kill the uh, Dwarven Forge Tanner in one shot. I will kill this get get to amplifier. Oh, if I found the repository scab, I could have done it. Could have gone repository scab triple in the festivities. Would have been. No more festivities. Let's see if we can find it. No! Feel the burn, opponent. Feel the burn. So I don't even have a cover up yet. There's two in my deck and one in my yard. Present. cover up my own espionage. Certainly would have devious cover up to that if I had had one. But it doesn't really do anything that I have to do this. It's not worth doing yours as rebuff. Yes, we've done it. Get in there, repository scab.
Look at that, an almost perfect deck. I do need to thicken my deck slightly. Death of the Kami is strictly better than Considers because it's an instant that actually can affect the game if I want my spell to affect the game as opposed to just being something I countered. Could play an, a, a kicked espionage here. It would put me at four cards left in deck. I think it's worth it. Get in that repository scab. Do your worst. So they're exactly dead right now. They're forced to act first, which means they're in quite bad shape. face. You know, they're starting to feel the end of festivities. They're starting to feel the burn add up. How did this essence scatter get back in my deck? I guess it's it's the one that's just in, been in my deck the whole time. I haven't been shuffling them back in. It's the fourth one that I just never drew. You can't debt to the Kami your own stuff, as we learned earlier, so I couldn't get rid of my falafel archaeologist if I wanted to. Storm strike, alright. Close with Ada decking. They still have 29 cards left. Did I have fun that much? Obviously. You have some colored mana issues. 
Hopefully they resolve themselves. And the Festivity seems like one of the best cards against the white decks. So I'm glad that they're playing white. Much better in sighting. I think in the previous match, I was confused with how debt to the Kami works. I didn't realize it exiled, so it's actually good against the launch veteran, which I didn't appreciate at that game. In that game earlier. Now what they got? What do you got for me? Spirited Companion. All right. I'll probably just put an end to the festivities. Yeah, maybe. Depends on what I draw. Recommission. It's kind of brutal. I was worried they were going to resolve. One of their cards is like a three mana. 2 2 that goes and gets more copies of itself. If they had resolved that that turn, it would have been quite bad for me. The commission's pretty annoying. For sure. keep the 3-2 flyer. I'll definitely block this turn and force them to spend 4 mana if they want to uh, get the Falafel Archaeologist off the board. This turn. Oh. Well, maybe it's not worth blocking if they're. They've already spent the mana. I guess it's not worth blocking then. Any three damage, I'll have the same opportunity next turn. Search Party Captain is the name of the card I was trying to describe earlier. I was worried they were going to play on one of the turns. I'm just going to kick this. Their last card. If, even if their last card's a land, it's good to get because that's that would be their eighth mana for using the Steadfast Unicorn. Ooh, they should have played that. There's no reason not to cast that. That was a mistake on their part. I guess that was a reason that maybe I should have blocked the turn before. Taking seven this turn. As long as I can kill the unicorn, they don't die. Start out with consider. Consider into overwhelming remorse. 
This is the right way to do this. Now I have to hit Strangle. I could also hit and the festivities, but then I die to a land. As it is, I just die. Well, you can't win them all. And I would say with the way my deck was constructed, you're not going to win all that many. That deck wasn't very good. But I had fun in the games, at least. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I don't know what the next event I'll make a video for these is. Maybe I'll make a second popper one with a more competitive deck. But I'm definitely, I'm looking forward to playing the uh, Duplicate Sealed. I'll certainly make a video about that when it happens. Hope to see you then.